Hey everyone, so today I'm going to be improving my UI in my project detail page. In my time tracker application quantum, we have projects where you can track hours against and you can see information on those projects here. Here you have different tabs and we have the details. You can see all the fields related to this project. How it's laid out is kind of not that great. We just kind of did it quick and I think it can be improved. I'm going to see what Claude 3.7 thinking model can come up with, if it can actually improve the UI. I've already played around using AI to make improvements in my UIs. An example would be my reports. In the last few days, I improved this section. I added this statistics page and I improved how the filters were laid out. I have an image here showing what it used to look like. The initial version just added the stats and the charts to the page above the table. There were a lot of filters, but then working with the AI, I was able to come up with suggestions on how we could improve it. And then I kind of just chose which ones I wanted to do. And in the end, we ended up with this, right? So we broke it down into two different tabs, which makes sense. If someone's coming to a report, most of the time, they're just going to want to access the actual table, see the actual entries or the summary, whatever the report is offering. The statistics are kind of just a, a nice to have for most people to visualize, but not something they would always be coming towards. With the filters, we just had way too many filters, which is good, but most filters probably are not gonna be used that heavily besides the users and the projects and the date range. So all the other ones can kind of be hidden, right? So we add this, add this dropdown to hide the filters. So we save a lot of space. All in all, I'm I'm really happy with the redesign that you know the AI was able to come up with. For that, I kind of used a mixture of ChatGPT and Claude. Like I basically had a screenshot of this page. I gave that to ChatGPT and it came up with a bunch of suggestions. So today I'm just gonna try using Claude to see what it can do in terms of UI improvements. The first thing would be giving this a screenshot to Claude to see if that helps. I'm not sure if it's necessary because it does have access to the code, but let's start there. All right, so now let's say, can you help me improve the UI of this? I have ideas like we can add stack cards to this page. We could add a chart. We could put the details above and then put the tabs below, but let's see what it comes up with on its own. And then we'll see if I like that. And if I don't, then we can give it more suggestions. Okay, so now it's looking at the code base, trying to find the relevant files. And so yeah, this is the thinking model, which is supposed to have more reasoning. I've read a lot of mixed results and I've, I've used it a bit. I can't say I've noticed a significant improvement. That's the thing I'm struggling with determining using all these different models is like, all right, is it better? Is it better or just different? Is it just the AI giving me different answers every single time? Because yeah, when I use a model, even if I do the same problem, give it the same prompt, it will give me a different output. So it's hard to know if a different model is actually better or you're just getting a different output because the output from AI is never deterministic, right? It's never like you give it this input, you get that output. It can always vary. Based on the code I've examined, I'll now create improvements for the project details UI. Here's my plan for enhancing the UI. Reorganize layout with modern card components for better grouping of data. Add visual indicators for financial metrics. Improve typography and spacing. Add icons to enhance visual appeal and improve information hierarchy. Make the UI more responsive for different screen sizes. We're not using this icon. Not FAS, it's FA, so I'll have to tell that. Hourly billing, and it's changing these to stats. So kind of, yeah, coming up with the same idea that I had, right? About making these stack cards. I figured it would do that since kind of the obvious improvement from a UI perspective and breaking it off into different sections. Stat sections, financial overview, cost, profit, chart for task hours, adding a chart, horizontal bar chart. I'm wondering if it's like remembering <clears throat> the other refactoring we did for the report section. I feel like it is because 
These are literally all the changes I asked it to do. Like with the other rework for the report section, I gave it detailed instructions and we had to do so many different iterations to get to the final product. Honestly, it was like eight hours of work to get that end result. So yeah, we'll see now here what it came up with. Okay, I'm just gonna tell it one thing. For the icons, it's not FAS. We need the FA class. Okay, yeah, I'm actually on the slow request in Cursor because I ran out of premium tokens in Cursor for my month and I don't want to enable pricing because I don't want to have to pay. <laughs> it would be interesting though to know how much all this would cost actually. But yeah, not gonna do that. It's weird that this takes so long. It's not that complicated of an assignment. All right, so I did that and let's see what it came up with. So yeah, split the section into three different sections. Here we have the type of project, which is a private project and name, the client, and time statistics, number of entries, total hours, hourly billing, retainers, revenue, costs. Where's the chart? Thought there was a chart. Oh, okay, it's only if it has tasks. This one doesn't have tasks. Let's see if there's another one with tasks. Okay, there's the task showing the amount of hours per task I have accumulated. That worked a lot better than I thought on the first pass. That's impressive. I mean, it doesn't look too great. It's not very consistent with the rest of our application. If you look at the dashboard, you can see that it looks a bit different. But yeah, it's pretty good. I'm gonna work with it to make some further changes. I want to get rid of the details tab and put the details above the tabs. Also, I like how we do tabs in the detailed reports section. Can you copy that as well? So in the detailed reports, I much prefer how we're doing tabs here. I want it to copy that and bring that over to the project details, change these. Move this above here, get rid of this, and then have these at the bottom. All right, let's see how that looks. Yeah, so it understood, and now it's making those changes. Oh, okay, we are using routing for showing these different components. It understands that now it needs to remove the details. Okay, that's done. We can come and see what we have. Go back here. Okay, we can see now. I wanted them to be within the same card. I don't think that looks correct. But I really don't like how these cards are nested in other cards. So I'm gonna ask if it can improve it. Can you make them in the same? card slash border. We'll just start with that. I find that this doesn't look too great. There's too many cards within cards. Like either we follow what we're doing in the dashboard and each section has its own card or in the report, we do have these cards within cards, but only one layer. In that they're doing like two layers. Hmm. What is it coming up with? Okay. I actually prefer that. It does feel like a lot of information though now. Hmm. But still, I'm kind of blown away by just how quickly it has improved it. Let me try something. Can you make it more consistent with the look and feel of our dashboard? So this is good, but I think we still need a containing card because we have that in pretty much every other section. So it'd be a bit weird to not have it there. So I asked it to make it kind of like this, right? Okay, I was able to do that. So yeah, this is the end result. This is what we were able to generate in less than 20 minutes. All in all, this is pretty impressive. In less than 20 minutes, we were able to have Cursor improve this UI where it looks like this from this. I'm gonna work with it for probably another few hours to get it to something that I'm happy with. But this is a great starting point and has saved me a lot of time and having to work with a designer as well. I think this has a lot of potential for developers who are not too strong with front end or design. You can give it a screenshot of your actual application and it can tell you where improvements can be made and even do those improvements, right? And then you can work with it to further tweak things. And you can tell it to reference other parts of your application that look good to make it look like those sections. Well, thanks for watching. Hopefully you see the value that this can provide for developing your front end.